today's Toy Spot, why we're having a look at the NECA Gremlins Toys R Us exclusive Santa Gizmo. Yes, it is a little late of a Christmas gift for myself. Yes, it is also something that could have easily been a Christmas spot. Sadly, while this is a Toys R Us exclusive spot, was unable to find this locally, so I had to resort to getting this off of eBay. And as any collector would know, sometimes when you order things on eBay, you don't get things when you want to get them. I was hoping this would have been a Christmas spot. Sadly, we're a little late. We're a little behind schedule. And I have to do this as something after Christmas. Oh well. Oh well. Santa Gizmo does include a holiday trumpet and candy cane. Also features your standard poseable eyes that we've seen on all Gremlins figures now. Down below, such a cute little picture of Gizmo. Down there with his cute little hat. Little Santa hat going on there. Uh, on the back of the package. Roll trackball to move Mogwai eyes 360 degrees. Collect them all. Here's something a little bit interesting that you may not be noticing. If you look at the picture there, that looks like series, what was it, series two? It looks like this gizmo right here, and they just slapped a hat on it. That's not the same gizmo, my friends, as this one right here. You see that? This one's a little fuller in the face, a little more like the he was in the original Gremlins movie. This one is clearly using the Gremlins 2, or I guess the later Gremlins released figures. Kind of interesting. Not maybe really interesting for everybody, but I find it interesting. You can collect them all. Down below is Gizmo, George, Lenny, Daffy, Combat Gizmo, and Mohawk. Definitely something I want to get for Christmas. But definitely something we're going to review now, though. All I'm going to do is take a bit of a break. Going to get this opened up, and when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Toys R Us exclusive Santa Gizmo. Don't go anywhere. More is to come. The accessories. Once again, you get yourself a candy cane. Some nice stripes going on on the candy cane there. A little more white than red on this candy cane. I always feel like it should be the other way around. That's the way I roll with candy canes. And of course, you also get a trumpet. Pretty nice detail as well on that trumpet. Nice gold wash uh, paint on there. Uh, nothing moves or anything like that. It's just a PVC piece. Uh, both pieces, as far as I know, let's have a look here. Both pieces should hold in his hand. Unfortunately, with the Gremlins figures, their hands, well, I shouldn't say that. The Combat Gizmo had more of a closed hand, but this seems to be using the same hands as the original Gizmo, so you kind of have to just wedge them in his, in his hand. Let's see if we can do the same thing with the trumpet. What's the best way to hold the trumpet? Maybe have it like, like so. Uh, it doesn't really... Not well. Definitely not well. Uh, you can kind of, I guess you can kind of hook it on his hand, but I'm sure there is an easier way that this should be held in his hand. Spot just ain't finding it. No. I'm sure somewhere along the lines, combat, or combat gizmo, regular gizmo. Oh no! Oh, I broke the trumpet! Oh, oh wait, no I didn't. Oh no, there's, oh. <laughs> there's actually, I just had a moment of panic. There's pegs. Oh, let it be pegs. There we go. All right. Whew. There's actually pegs that unhook, that attach... Oh, gee. Oh. There were actually pegs. I thought I broke it. Oh, that would have been a horrible, a horrible belated Christmas gift for myself. Even even Gizmo's like, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Anyways, he comes with the, trump, the trumpet. I don't even know where he's going to hold it. At least he's got the candy cane. Let's take that out of his hand, put that aside. Oh, all right, panic aside, let's keep going with this review. Um, he does have the same trackball on the back here as all the other gizmos, and all, actually all the other mogwais for that matter. 
Um, unfortunately, his eyes are really loose. It could very well just be my gizmo, but his eyes are extremely loose. The trackball is kind of just all over the place on this one. Aside from the trackball, uh, I'm really impressed with the this figure. I think really as I was looking at the back of the package was basically how I was expecting this figure to be. If I reach off camera here, I bring in the, I shouldn't say the original gizmo, but the, the, the gizmo from the, the newer line of, of Gremlins figures. I really thought that they just simply took a Christmas hat, stuck it on the, the original gizmo figure, or at least I guess the new NECA line of figures, because originally there was a NECA release of Gremlins figures way back when. But uh, yeah, I thought they had just slapped a hat on this guy and called it uh, Christmas Gizmo. You can see that there is no compare, there is no similarity between the figures. I guess aside from the body, the legs, and then the hands. The head definitely is a hundred percent new. Um, oh, by the way, I'm just moving him out of the way. It definitely looks like it's a brand new figure. And I'm also looking at the later figures that we are going to be getting from the Gremlins line. And it doesn't look like he's this guy is part of that line either. Maybe down the road, and I think there's a, like a smiling Mogwai or something that's coming out. Maybe he's going to use this same sculpt. But as it stands right now, this is a entirely new sculpt. And I like that. I like that quite a bit. Um, I also really like this hat. And if you're all also wondering if this hat comes off, it doesn't seem to come off. You might be able to pry it, but I don't know how much of a train wreck is underneath that. It's probably just a whole bunch of glue. Um, it's not going to come off, which is fine. I don't know if it's just entirely the, the hat or the head, but this... Gizmo feels a lot heavier than the original Gizmo. It might just be the fact that this, I mean, this hat is plastic, and it's a heavy plastic, too, uh, making this figure feel extremely heavy. I love this figure. I don't know if you can tell, but Spot really loves this figure and the fact that it just looks so different than all the other Gizmos we've gotten. In fact, let me just move the camera back a little bit here. Uh, there is Christmas Gizmo, there is the original Gizmo, and of course we can't forget Combat Gizmo. You can see that they are clearly all different from one another. Even Combat Gizmo yet yeah, doesn't share anything head-wise to, I really shouldn't say that, the ears look like they, they've carried over as well, but the face sculpt is definitely new. I like that quite a bit. I still love, Com Combat Gizmo is just awesome, I love him. But uh, I really like Christmas Gizmo because it just reminds me so much of the original Gremlins movie. He's fuller. He's a little chunkier in the face going on there. But uh, love him quite a bit. His articulation. He has a ball-jointed head, although it moves left and right. Doesn't really move up and down very much. He's got the ball-jointed ears. He's got the pin and socket shoulders. He's got a pegged hand. Arms rotate all the way around. Rotation in the hand, they can rotate all the way around as well. And then the ball jointed legs as well. Which this one is a little stiff on, on as well. There we go. I wouldn't say necessarily you would need this gizmo, but the fact that if you've maybe been collecting the other gizmos, like this guy right here, I would say this is a nice, nice addition to your collection. And I'm very impressed. I have to, if I had a, a real hat, I would, it's imaginary, but I'm, I would tip my imaginary hat to NECA for not just simply putting a hat on an existing Gremlins figure and then just calling it Christmas Gizmo. I would almost feel like that's a cop-out. Um, and uh, I'm really impressed that we got a brand new figure. This warrants getting this figure, even if you already have the other ones. And as a side note, Spot's really happy that I didn't break the trumpet. Whoosh. Christmas Gizmo, I'm very happy with. It's a shame, really, that I didn't get a chance to do it during Christmas. But nonetheless, he's still getting reviewed. That's all that matters. Christmas Gizmo, I'm going to give him a very merry 8.5. If you can find him, 
Hopefully you fare better at finding them in local than what Spot did, and you don't have to get them off of eBay. But if you can find them, definitely worth picking up. Today's, uh, I was going to say today's Christmas spot, but today's toy spot, we were having a look at the NECA Toys R Us exclusive Christmas Gizmo. A very neat figure. Thanks for watching, guys. Certainly stick around. More toy spots, not really Christmas related, but more toy spots are definitely heading your way. See you guys next time.